What is Loi Gatong Day? Ooh. Hey guys, it's me, Jeffrey from Travel Bites. What is Loi Gatong Day? Before I tell you what is Loi Gatong Day, let me explain when is Loi Gatong. You like the stash? Hmm. The wife hates it. Okay, back to our topic. The Logatong Day is on the 12th month of the lunar cycle in Thai calendar. So that just means that it will be on a full moon day in November. So here I want to give you some examples as a foreigner coming to Thailand and experience Thai cultures. There's some activities that maybe you want to try. One of that is meditation and yoga okay about the activities we're talking about the best thing i think is to let some of my friends tell you about it uh, this is our charity project with uh, gate and this is our second time doing it uh, so uh, this is a very unique experience as we invite people to come and experience thai uh, and buddhist culture and country and we invite people to live and stay with us in a temple so and the main highlight of the retreat is celebration of uh, one of the biggest festivals in thailand called loy kraton lantern festival oh lots of different activities the katina festival at vimok the loy kratong here at watamai and just different blessings from the monks and just being in this wonderful peaceful atmosphere where there's not very many westerners and so it's not commercialized and i feel like i've got a really authentic experience i've done chanting and morning meditations with the monks and i just find it really powerful in this place the loy krathong is an experience i will never forget so this was about me healing my stuff and being good for myself we just came to just uh learn how to just love myself more and take care of myself so that i can be a better mom and i just want to be strong and happy and healthy for them. Loi Katong celebration too and it was just a really nice way to cleanse yourself and learn how to let go of anything that's been bothering you and I just found it so soothing especially the quietness and learning how to enjoy yourself and enjoy everything about yourself. Um, well one thing that struck that I was struck with right away is the, uh, the people. Everyone is so welcoming. So I came for yoga, but then I was introduced by Gabe and everyone else introduced to meditation, um, introduced to so many cultural things as well as, well as spiritual things, my stay here. Uh, and it was wonderful because I didn't come with any predisposed um, expectations or plan for any of this. Um, but every day has been something completely new, a very eye-opening experience. So uh, the La Croton Festival probably was the main part of my trip. Uh, in terms of like re regrowth, rebirth spiritually and becoming a new person. It definitely helped me to, um, to realize how, you know, how fragile and how, how short the life is. To bring in people from out, out of country to get to learn about our culture, our religious and those who have interest in um, Buddha's teaching in particular and mostly some religious ceremonies and they will get to live inside temple and monastery at the meditation center and they will get to join and be part of a lot of activities. Yoga, meditation, and we do walking meditation. For those who doesn't like sitting meditation, you will have option to do your own kind. You can contact the temple directly and ask for me, which my name is Gate. That is some of the authentic feeling and experience you can get in Thailand many activities you can try out those are some of the few if you are interested in some of these activities I'll link them down below so back to our topic what is Loi Gatong? okay guys like we said today's Loi Gatong day so Loi Gatong day is I'm Sydney yes so I'll tell you guys about what is Loi Gatong Day then? I think you're not in the frame, babe. Uh, uh. Okay, so Loi Gatong Day is a day that we give offer and we appreciate and say sorry to the spirit of the water. So we actually have like 
tree spirit mainly Today is paying respect to the spirit of the river or the water That's Pamakongka So we build this katong to offer and say sorry if we have done anything wrong And that is what we do every year Let's take a look at how we make this katong All right, now we have it, our gatong. So this is the traditional way to make gatong. Actually, there's like many debates on what you actually should use. Uh, lately, we have the problem of too many gatong in the rivers and canals. There's a couple theories. First is that using this original gatong, it's good for the environment because it will dissolve by itself. And second, some people use like bread type katong so the fish can eat but the problem is at night the fish are all asleep and the third way that we make katong is using styrofoam um, some people say it's good if it's in a close place so the authorities or people that collect them can collect them easier because they float but for me I think that if you float the katong in the given place there will be people to come and collect throw them away and it's easier for the environment if you use traditional katong because they can be used as fertilizer and, or it's something else What are we doing Sydney? We're going to light katong Light katong! <laughs> Every morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. Lord Buddha.